going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and this video coming to you from my house because as I'm sure you know by now, the whole entire world is quarantined, the world's gonna end. But I am an avid user of TikTok, as I'm sure some of you have know. I have a TikTok, it's Andy Gabs on there too. Go follow me. Mythical Chef Josh posted a video in which he had four ingredients. I will let you take a look at that video now. We have blueberries, American cheese, rice, old sloppy joe. The blueberries! Ah, uh, garnish! Uh. That was so good, you win. Then I commented on that video and I said, Josh, give me four ingredients and let's run it. So, the ingredients that he actually did respond and he gave me four ingredients. Those ingredients are bananas, popcorn, he didn't specify microwave, but that's all I had, canned tuna, and hot sauce. So I'm actually filming a video for TikTok, but I figured, hey, I might as well make this into a YouTube video and show like the whole entire process versus, you know, the 30 to 60 second clip, that, clip that's gonna be on TikTok. Uh, so what I'm thinking is, crab cakes but made with tuna with like a banana ketchup dipping sauce. Now usually you're using super ripe bananas. Unfortunately, don't have super ripe bananas. I have barely ripe bananas. So uh, let's see how this is gonna go. Also, my tripod broke. So my super ghetto tripod is a piece of wood. Pray to God for me that my camera does not fall off. The camera has made it to the ghetto tripod. It hasn't fallen yet. Comment down below, say a prayer for me that my you know, almost $1,500 camera does not fall off my tripod while we're filming this. So the first thing I'm doing, I've got the normal canned tuna and I'm just trying to get as much juice out of it as possible. I want it to be pretty dry because like I said, it's going into a crab cake. And obviously, you know, I don't have a production crew behind me, so you're not gonna get the prettiest shots of everything, but I'll kind of walk you guys through it. I know this is definitely not my normal video, but I'm, uh, I'm stuck inside my house. I'll show you guys the snake at the end though. How about that? Yeah, there it is. Ugh, dude, I hate canned tuna. I hate tuna in general, but luckily, Kelsey is gonna be trying this at the end as my judge, not me. It smells so bad. Generally speaking, in like a crab cake, you would use like a panko breadcrumb, but because one of my ingredients is popcorn, I'm actually gonna make the popcorn, blend that up in a food processor, and then try to use that as like the breadcrumb sort of base. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is all experimentation, right? Popcorn is popping. You might be able to hear it a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna take the food processor, so once the popcorn comes out, I can blend it all up in the food processor with the nasty tuna. Isn't it great that microwaves have popcorn buttons so you don't even really have to worry about it? Though, it says 3.5 pop. Ooh. It says only 30 seconds left. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, popcorn is done. Let's see how well the popcorn button worked. Pretty good. I did elect to use a uh, buttered popcorn just because I feel like that buttery flavor might add a little bit of yumminess to the to the crab tuna cake, or so I'm hoping. Now I gotta take the food processor and blend all this up. So now, like I said, I'm just taking that popcorn and blending it up in a food processor to turn it into like little tiny fine breadcrumbs that I'm gonna mix that in with my tuna mixture. So as you can see, really fine little popcorn breadcrumbs. Time to throw that in with a tuna and start making this monstrosity. So another thing you need to add to something like this is some, um, generally mayonnaise is used. I despise mayonnaise on a molecular level. Uh, like literally, I am almost afraid of mayonnaise, that gross. So I'm gonna use some ranch. Fold some ranch into that, I added a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't know, then I'm gonna throw in an egg, some flour, we'll, no, we'll just see what happens. All right, so while that oil's going, I'm gonna take my bananas and uh, chop them up to add into this ketchup that I'm gonna make. Basically, it's gonna be like a hot, banana hot sauce dipping thing. So now I'm taking my hot sauce, dumping it straight into this pan. That should be more than enough. Then I'm gonna take some brown sugar and some honey, throw some of this in there. That's a good noise. That should be about good. I don't know what I'm doing. Brown sugar, uh, you know, maybe like two tablespoons-ish worth. 
Uh, boom, sure, that looks good. That's like two tablespoons, plus or minus two tablespoons. And that onto like four, get that going. Uh, oh, duh, bananas. I got my bananas into my hot sauce mixture. Now we just gotta let this heat and get all like reduced and gross and hopefully maybe yummy, maybe I, oh, maybe. While we got that reducing, we're gonna go ahead and make these into little cakes. So basically, I'm just gonna take the tuna, put it out on the cutting board, just like that. I'm gonna try to make two cakes, should have more than enough to do that. Just gonna take this. Oh, dude, this is so gross. I'm so glad Kelsey is eating this and I don't have to. Maybe half an inch thick, somewhere around there. And now find something in your kitchen that's like circular that you can cut two cakes out of this with. I still have to find something. Get creative, you know what I'm saying? This is like the outside of a measuring cup thing I use. So we're gonna take one, press that, kind of squiggle it around, and then two, Press it, squiggle it around. Now we're gonna peel away all that outside stuff and I think I'm probably gonna make a third one too. Once you got your three cakes made, like I said, peel all this stuff away. Throw this in the trash because it's probably not gonna be good anyways. There's little goblins that live in the drain that have machetes in them. Now, I hope you saved some of that popcorn. If you didn't, my bad, because I didn't tell you to save it. We're gonna blend up a little bit more of that, then we're gonna coat these tuna cakes in more popcorn to act as like a bread crummy -ness to fry them in. Just kidding, I already put my uh, food processor in the dishwasher, so I'm gonna crush it all by hand. Just kidding, that's way too hard. I'm gonna wash and dry the food processor. I got my little plate of more popcorn. I'm basically just gonna take these, gently press them like that. Coat a little bit more, press a little bit more and then boom, there you go. That way there's gonna be a little bit of crust on them for, uh, for when you fry. The sauce is going, uh, it's right here. Starting to look, you know, like some thick ketchupy banana stuff. I really don't know if this is gonna be good. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the food processor after just to try to make it like one nice smooth texture. But I mean, I don't think it could be that bad realistically, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, so we got the oil right here, just waiting to the oil to get up to temperature, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop our little popcorn tuna ball things into the deep fryer, or into the pan fryer, because it's not deep. I'm TikToking while I'm doing this, so you guys are gonna see me TikTok for a second, because unfortunately I can't do you guys and then them, which is what I've been doing this whole time, which is a giant pain in the butt, because I gotta make sure I don't forget steps. But here we go, uh, tuna popcorn cake in the fryer. Okay, now that I'm done with that one, I gotta do two more. Put that one in. And that one in. All right, now I gotta get a spatula. Make sure you dry stuff when you're using hot oil really well, otherwise it'll like explode when you put it in there. All right, so as you guys can see, those are frying up pretty nicely. They actually look kind of good, I'm kind of surprised. And my uh, weird ketchup stuff is still looking kind of gross. I think that'll look a lot better once it goes in the food, po food processor though. Speaking of that, while those are frying, I'm actually gonna clean the food processor again to add in the banana ketchup. The weird ketchup mixture is into the food processor. Now time to blend until smooth. So I got the three cakes out onto my just little uh, drying slash cooling rack and with some paper towels to get the oils out. Coronavirus, don't lick your fingers. Now blending up the uh, banana ketchup stuff. Should be good. Time to plate. There it is, that is my tuna popcorn cakes with a hot sauce ketchup, with a banana ketchup, whatever it's called, and some rosemary there just to uh, make it look pretty. Now we gotta see how these things taste. I'm a little nervous. All right, so Kelsey is gonna try them, but I figured I would just take the first bite. All of my camera batteries are dying. This is highly annoying. But I said Kelsey was gonna try it. Kelsey doesn't feel very good right now, so I'm not gonna subject her to this. Dip it in some sauce. I can taste the popcorn, I can taste the banana, obviously the hot sauce, and the tuna is a nice light flavor. Y'all, these aren't bad. I ain't even gonna lie to you, I'm pretty impressed. Now I feel like I kinda have to get Kelsey to try it because I would like eat this, like not even in quarantine. Strangely good. All right, let's see if Kelsey will come down and try it. All right, Kelsey is feeling better. So she is going to try it. I'm stuck in my gate. I'm stuck. Yep. There we go. Dogs, go away. Not for you. Klaus has a ball. Here we go. Okay, so camera battery died again. I'm over it. I can't find my two other ones. So we're going to finish this. Uh, Kelsey is about to try it. I don't know what clip I got of 
me walking it over to her, but she's about to try it. Let's see what she thinks. So it's a tuna and popcorn fritter, kind of like a crab cake, but with tuna and then banana. No, you gotta take a good bite. Take a bite from like right there, like that good section right there. No, yeah, that, yeah, the bigger spot, yeah. No, 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 bigger, big. Big, go in. So you would say it's good. I mean, if the world was ending, I'd eat it. She said if the world was ending, she'd eat it, and the world is ending, so mission success. Uh, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit, show you guys the snake, give you a little update on that failure that's going on uh, once I get a camera battery charged. So I know at this point now everyone's like a month into quarantine. I haven't posted in like two weeks. I know I'm so sorry I suck. But I promise you there's a few videos coming and I am working on building something absolutely awesome. If you go and look at the pictures I posted over on the community tab, you can kind of get a uh, sneak peek or a little preview. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting some updates on there. But I told you guys that I would give you a little snake update. So let's do that. So there is Forrest the snake looking great. He is just about to shed, but you guys may remember I had his enclosure lovely and awesome live planted. That was all going great until a like about a week into having it, I started to notice fruit flies and then a couple became hundreds and the plants that I bought from Home Depot were infested with fruit flies. So shout out Home Depot, thank you for making me waste like $200 on plants. Uh, so I had to get rid of everything. I'm gonna be placing an order with Josh's frogs coming up soon to get some good quality plants that won't be infested with fruit flies and then we will replant the whole enclosure. Just wanted to give you guys that little update. Again, please stay tuned. Within the next couple days, I'm gonna be having more videos come out. I also wanna do a live stream soon. But thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different than my average video, but when you get a challenge from the Mythical Kitchen, I feel like you have to deliver. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash the like button for me. Comment down below if you would try what I made. Subscribe if you're new here and turn that notification bell on. Next video, we're getting back to reptiles.